just wanted to give a quick overview and tutorial of how the Buster cache breaking system works using the hashed file name. Um, so based on the file's contents, we actually create a unique hash of that file. So the user will always get the latest changes and we don't have to worry about breaking cache or setting cache headers too much. We can pretty much just set a cache header very far in the future and know that the user will just get a different file name anyway if the contents change. Uh, so this works for you know CSS files, JS files, even images. Um, so based on the contents, it'll just create a unique file and send that to the user. If we jump straight in, I'll show you how it works. First thing you need to do is just include the actual contents or functions that are um, important to running this. So we're including the buster hash file name.php. And then very simply, all it is is you pass the style sheet or image or JavaScript file to that function, which will then look at the contents of that file and create a hash um, and copy that into a new distribution folder and update the URL to serve that to the user. So if we look here, this is just the example PHP file I've created just to kind of uh, give you a quick head start. If we actually look at the, the source code of this, the file here is the output of what we've passed to this function. So we passed it style.css, but it gave us a dist folder with style and then a unique hash.css. And we can just click it and see that content actually is all there. So if we remember this number 8ed to begin with and then blow or something else, if we actually change our style sheet, even just add a single space, and I reload this, you can see that it's changed, and straight away the user wouldn't have any cache of this file, it's changed, so they um, get the update straight away. And if we change that back, remove that space, and reload it again, it's back to that ATD. So we can see it's kind of uh, creating a unique cache based on the content, which is really good. Um, the main benefit of this is you can use this on as many times as you want, so say you've, in this example I've got another uh, CSS file here in the assets folder called plugins.css. If we watch by here when I load this page, you can see it creates a distribution folder as well. So again, we can look and see all that file is there, it's just a copy. Um, so there's actually still the version here, so if you're developers, they don't have to change their file name, they just upload the plugins.css as they normally would. But in the back end, then it creates a copy which gets served to the user with a unique hash. And this is so quick, we could do this you know for hundreds of files so look at all these images is nine images for example we can just really quickly do it on these so if we just pass the file name to the function uh, there you go and if, before I load it if we just look in this image folder at the moment there's no distribution folder as soon as we load this see all the images load as they as you would expect and the source code, but all the images have got that unique hash, and also it has copied them and given them the unique hash here as well. This is so quick, we could do this with you know all these JavaScript files as well. So we've got 15 JavaScript files, let's do script times 15. So if we just pass all these JS files into the function. Let's just double check. So at the moment there's no distribution folder. As soon as we load, all the JavaScript files get added there and the distribution folder gets created. So again, just for a quick example, if I even change this just by one or two, three spaces, whatever, this uh, what file that was dropped in. This number, this number here will change, and so it's a unique file being served to the user, um, and it works very quickly. It pretty much adds no overhead to the to the site. And we can pretty much just prove that if we just add this little PHP timing code here. It finished in zero seconds. So even running this on you know like say 20 files plus here. It's still taking zero seconds on my local host to do all that kind of hashing. So yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the tool. If you've got any questions, just uh, give me a shout. It's proved really useful for me so far on a few of my websites and um, saves a lot of bandwidth knowing that the user is only ever getting served the relevant file when it's actually changed. So yeah, enjoy.